Welcome to today's edition of 10 TV Plus. Dylan Rubbershot alongside Jay Plyburn. And Jay. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Yeah, it, it's only Monday, but it feels like we've got a lot of stuff to talk about here. Because well, it's traditionally a busy week with a you know, minor holiday. We've got Thanksgiving. Yeah, we've got Thanksgiving. We've got folks traveling. And Mother Nature said we're going to give you guys a, a challenge this week. Because, Not this week. Because we are looking at another potential mixed bag of rain and snow, possibly on Thanksgiving. On the actual holiday. On the actual holiday. So, Which could be good if you're traveling on Wednesday or Friday on either side of that. Right. So let's get a look here at the uh, 10 weather impact and let's go ahead and break down exactly for you what we're looking at here. OK, so again, Thanksgiving Turkey Day timing, not ideal, but this is what we're looking at. Potential mixed bag of rain, snow and sleet could be a few slick spots depending on exactly where you live. And this is going to be geographically dependent on location. So we're going to talk more about specifics in just a bit before we talk about Thanksgiving, though. We have rain on the way for your Monday night. That's right, that is tonight. So we'll circle back around to all the holiday travel coming up in just a bit. Today, though, plenty of green showing up on the map. It'll be a pretty showery evening. The good news, though, is that the real entree of heaviest rainfall, this holds off until later on tonight. So look at the time by 10 o'clock. Look at that belt of heavy rain from Bucyrus down to Marysville, Springfield, tracking some good downpours here uh, later on this evening. This cold front, though, is off to the races by midnight. It's already moving out of here. So we have roughly three hours of a few off and on downpours. And then look at that. Things are looking much better tomorrow morning at this time. And I think we even punch a few holes in the clouds, allowing for a little bit more sunshine to come out of the mixture heading into tomorrow. OK, let's talk about our next storm track, though, coming in off the Colorado Rockies. Why do I have two tracks here? Well, because Two of our most accurate weather models are showing a little bit of a different story. OK, so I want to take a minute to kind of walk you through what we're showing. The models are pretty accurate. They're both agreeing that we get a storm here showing up across parts of the central plains. One model, though, takes it up the Tennessee River Valley. It takes it southeast of us here and it forms a much larger storm and it uh, brings in a more potent storm system closer to us. The second model, though, takes the track a little bit further down to the south by about 75 to 100 miles, and it has a much weaker storm system. So what I want to walk you through is exactly what both those scenarios could mean for us. The very first model that I want to show you right now is model one. This is what we call our European model, has a pretty good accuracy over the last couple of decades. This is what it's showing here for Wednesday and Thursday. And again, this model is a little bit more prominent here. OK, it's showing a bigger storm, a bigger storm. You got stronger northerly winds here on the north side. So with this particular model, you're pulling in more cold air. This will allow for more precipitation and the potential of more of a mixture of rain, snow and sleet. And then that moves out of here Thursday going into Friday. Now let's go ahead and talk about model two. This takes a track a little bit further down to the south and it also brings in a much weaker storm. Notice here that we see we still get rain. We still get a little bit of mixed precip. It's just not as impressive as what we saw with the first model. And this will take it further to the south across the Virginias and then up towards the New England states heading into Friday. Right now, and I, and I know you want my forecast, you want my opinion. I'm actually leaning towards model one because that has a, a higher accuracy rate here so far this fall. And it nailed last week's wintry mix that we saw. Remember when we saw rain and snow last Thursday and Friday? That model was spot on with that forecast. So Thanksgiving, OK, pay attention to where you live. I-70 is really the geographical cutoff here. North of I-70, especially as you get up to some of the hillier terrain, we're looking at some sleet pellets. We're looking at some uh, snowflakes kind of mixing in with the rain. And then as we head south of I-70, we're looking at all rain here showing up in the green. OK, right now it's only Monday. We still have a few days. This likely will change between now and then. But I just want to give you the heads up on where you live and how things could evolve heading into the next few days. Now, as we look at your Wednesday travel, a lot of folks will be hitting the roadways. We are looking at a cloudy day on Wednesday up in Cleveland. But if you're heading to Philadelphia, we're looking at a sunny day. Then if you're heading off to Cincinnati or Indianapolis, we'll be looking at some rain moving into the picture. The big story, though, that we're tracking this upcoming weekend, 
we have a shotgun of cold air. Here's your jet stream again, and every single forecast model is very consistent, very accurate, showing exactly how this is gonna evolve. Here's your jet stream and swoosh, look at that cold air kind of plunging into the deep south. Whew, it's gonna get cold, cold, cold heading into this weekend. We're looking at uh, temperatures below freezing for the Buckeye rivalry game here on Saturday at the Shoe. Possible snow flurries, maybe even a few snow showers this weekend. So let's get a look here at that game. If you are heading out there for kickoff, we're gonna be looking at temperatures below freezing. And then for the end of the game, we don't really nudge a whole lot. It is still downright cold if you're heading off to the shoe this upcoming weekend. So we got a lot of cold air on the way heading into the next few days. How cold? <laughs> look at this right here, folks. Reminder, December does begin on Sunday, but we're gonna be looking at temperatures 15 to 20 degrees below average Saturday 32 for the high, so that's below freezing. Then on Sunday, we're, we are 17 degrees below normal. High temperatures only 29 degrees. And if these are the daytime highs, just wait until you see how chilly the nighttime lows will be because it will be very frigid. On Thursday morning, 28 degrees, that means that we could be looking at some black ice. And I'm sorry, that, that would not be Thursday morning. That's Thursday night going into Friday morning. And then this would be Friday night going into Saturday morning. 21 degrees. So cold out there. And we stick with the 20s here heading into the weekend and into next week. A little bit of roller coaster ride. But generally speaking, the trajectory is that things get a lot colder around here heading into the weekend. Frost, freeze outlook. Oh, yeah, you bet. Not so much for the next few days. But look here as we head towards the weekend. Make sure to keep your ice scraper handy Friday, Saturday and Sunday morning. We could be looking at a hard freeze expected this weekend. So that means that if you're going to be out there traveling, you're going to want your ice scraper handy. And also on Friday morning, similar to what we saw this past Friday, could be looking at some black ice possible. So if you are traveling for Thanksgiving, might not be a bad idea to maybe get a few buckets of sand or cat litter or something, put it in the trunk of your car just in case you're out driving and you run into some uh, black ice. Not a bad idea heading into the weekend. The Climate Prediction Center has us in below average temperatures for the next two weeks or so. That would take us through the first full week of December. And so this is not a, a one or two day affair with these cold temperatures. It stays cold for a long time heading into the weekend and heading into next week. So December begins on Sunday. It's going to feel like it out there. I absolutely promise you that. Temperatures here over the next few days, by the way, the average high 48. Every single day we are below normal. Friday only 35 and then by Saturday 32. So temperatures will be on the down low heading into the next few days. For today though, we're looking at rain moving in later on this afternoon, really heading into this evening. And you'll notice that as we look here at the 12 hour forecast by 8, 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, that's really when rain is most prevalent. Notice that the temperatures don't really nudge a whole lot through today. And then heading into Wednesday, if you are going to be hitting the roads, heading out there traveling, again, not too bad. Temperatures in Cleveland, 45 degrees, but you and I both know that wind coming off of Lake Erie can knock down the temperature by 10, 15 degrees, making it feel colder when you factor in the wind. Then as we head towards Thursday, let's go ahead and recap that 10 weather impact day. A potent storm system rides up the Ohio Valley, pulls in that cold air, and then look, if you're traveling to Fort Wayne or Detroit, some heavy snowfall expected up there. That rolls out of here. Leftover snow showers possible heading into the upcoming weekend. Then we have snow showers possible on Friday. Then we've got the Michigan OSU game on Saturday. Could be looking at a few flurries around the area for that. And then by next Sunday, looking at temperatures dropping down 29. Jake, 29. For the high, that is not the low, that's the high. That's incredible. You gotta figure this forecast could actually kind of shape what people do for the holidays. You know, if they've been on the fence about, ah, do I go out to, to dinner or do I not? Do I stay in, you know? And, and then as far as the tailgating on Saturday, whoo, just warm for that. And you know at 10 o'clock in the morning, people will be out drinking even though it's gonna be Absolutely. that cold. It's a noon game, so. <laughs> yeah, it's a noon game, so you're, partying. You'll t you're tailgating two, three hours before that. Some people, <laughs> Diehards, maybe even early. this is Michigan, so we're probably going to have people out there before the sun even comes up. <laughs> people are starting today, I think, uh, <laughs> the, the, the celebrations yeah, getting ready for so Saturday's game. It's active. All right, let's move on. Today we have a little bit of trivia action, and you know what? This is going to be based on Thanksgiving, okay? Jay, Beautiful. on Thanksgiving, 
in Columbus, what was the warmest temperature that we've had on record? What do you think? Warmest Thanksgiving on record. Boy, 95 is really hot. Uh, that's um, That's got to be too hot. I'm going to go middle of the road here and say 70 degrees is Woo! the warmest on record. You got one right. Yeah, all right. Yep, good job. Yep. 90s would be ridiculous for, for November. Look, though, this was 127, almost 130 years ago. Yep was when we hit that temperature. Wow. Yeah, that was extremely hot. So I, I've got more, I've got more. Let me go back over to the wall and uh, show you some of these climate extremes. Generally but wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> Generally speaking here in Columbus, Ohio, the average temperature, if you look specifically at every Thanksgiving, going back over the last 50 plus years, the average temperature is about 1.4 degrees warmer. That's actually not that much. I mean, there's parts of the US that it's like five degrees warmer. So in terms of uh, climate change impacts here in Ohio, not as bad as what we've seen elsewhere across the country. <clears throat> There's that warmest Thanksgiving, though, 1896, 70 degrees. The coldest one, 1930, nighttime low, three degrees. Can you imagine that? Three degrees. That definitely makes you not feel quite as bad about the cold that we have on the way. The wettest Thanksgiving we had back in 2010, not that long ago, less than 15 years ago, we had 1.76 inches, and then we had snow back in 1950, 1 1.7 or I'm sorry, 1.1 inches of snow on Thanksgiving. So it's not often that we get snow on Thanksgiving, but it has happened. And you know what? This year it could happen again. It could happen again. Regardless, it's going to be pretty cold and the roads might be messy. It's going to be very cold out here. But the good news is that we still have a few more days to track the system. And like I've said before, things can and things will evolve. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, that does it for us here this morning. Thank you so much for joining in on 10 TV Plus. Make sure to tune in to Jerry Martz with your forecast tonight at 4, 5, 6, and 11 o'clock.